بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على رسوله وعلى الأمة الميامين من آله وسلم تسليما كثيرا Brothers and sisters, dear viewers, assalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Continuing on with our discussion in the rulings of fasting or sawm uh, We reached in our final episode, in our last episode, we reached the ruling of an intoxicated person I'll just inshallah go over that ruling for a final time. If a person makes the intention to fast before dawn and then becomes unconscious for any reason, being unconscious, and then regains his consciousness throughout the day, he or she must continue their fast until Adhan al Maghrib, until the Adhan of evening prayers. Similarly, if one makes his intention before dawn, also before Fajr, and then gets intoxicated by on purpose, alcohol or drugs or any other reason, and then becomes, then regains his sense throughout the day. He also is obliged to continue his fast and then must make up the fast, give its qawa, with a kafara for precaution. When a person makes the intention to fast before dawn and then goes to sleep and wakes up either before maghrib or after maghrib, before the evening or after the dusk, his fast is deemed valid because he made his intention and the entire day or the even though he was asleep or for any other reason the entire day his niya his intention was there if a child reaches puberty now he's a bit of a uh, a tricky one if a child reaches puberty before adhanul fajr before the dawn adhan he must observe he or she must observe the fast for that particular day but if he reaches puberty or she reaches puberty, after Adhan al-Fajr, it is not obligatory upon them to fast that day. They must fast the second because we believe that as Muslims, one, when, one, when, one Muslim, when a Muslim, because we believe when a Muslim reaches puberty, he is then obliged to undergo fasting and to pray and what have you. But at the time of the intention, this, this, this person, this girl, this boy, they were not had not reached the age of puberty. So therefore their fast was not wajib upon them, was not obligatory upon them. If either a male or a female has been hired to observe the fasts of a deceased person, in many cases, when somebody dies or passes away, we tend to see that the people are hired to observe their fasts and their prayers, which uh, have, they, they are missing. This is, this is fine, this is, uh, it's, it's valid, it's fine. But if someone, for example, has their own qadha to be made up, it is permissible for them to fast, to be hired to fast for a deceased person. But if, for example, I have my own qadha, I have to make up some of my fasts which I have missed, it is impermissible for me to fast a recommended fast, a mustahab fast, unless I have made up all my qadha, my makeup fasts before this. Very different to the, the, the ruling of Salat. In prayers, even if I have qadha which I am uh, missing, uh, qadha prayers which I am missing, I can still pray a recommended prayer. But if I, in fasting, have a qadha that I have missed, I must make up this qadha, make up this, make up this, prayer, this fast that I have missed before I can actually uh, fast a recommended fast. The term kafara is used on numerous occasions throughout fiqh and Islamic jurisprudence and law. It basically means the expiation of a sin or its penalty or its compensation. Now a kafara could range anywhere between saying astaghfirullah rabbi wa tubulay, seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the way to the releasing of a slave. You buy a slave and you release the slave depending on the sin or the size of the uh, atrocity if you may that has been committed. In Fiqh, in Psalm, Fiqh, 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 Psalm, if one is to break his fast intentionally, and inshallah I'll get back to this in detail, but I'm just going to give an example for the kafara. If one is to break his fast intentionally, he must, throughout the month of Shah Ramadan, he must either pay one of three kafarat, either freeing a slave or fasting two entire months or feeding 60 needy people. That is all we have time for, inshallah, today. Uh, inshallah, catch you all guys in the next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.